Hey guys, it's Lam here again, your tech guide. So I finally got the package from Samsung. We've got the Under Armour Samsung Watch Active 2 in the house. So here it is, we'll do a quick unboxing, do a setup, and we'll do a comparison with the Aluminum Black Active Watch 2 and my uh, stainless steel silver active watch too as well so we're going to try to measure them up and see what is the difference between them and also i will do another more video about the under armor so without further ado guys let's get started so let's open this up so this should be out in your samsung store at the time of making this video and here it is guys all right so the box looks like it's pretty much the same as what you would get on the original uh, Active Watch 2. As you can see, there is no difference whatsoever unless this is a review unit. And it says there UA, which is Under Armour, and maybe this might be just a temporary box but anyways let's do the unboxing and see what it looks like and there you have it so we did get the silver watch band here and what else do we have inside of course you have your standard magnetic charger right there and pretty much nothing else i wish they sent out the original under armor box so we could really see what it looks like and of course you have your paperwork over here and nothing else guys all right so let's open this up or activate it i mean so here's I was gonna do a box comparison, but it looks like they don't have, or they probably just um, decided not to send the original Under Armour box. But anyways, there it is. All three stainless steel, silver, your standard box. And I guess it is just your standard box over here. So let's put that on the side and check this out and see the difference with what you would get on your standard active watch. So the color is pretty much similar color to the standard watch here, your active watch. I don't see much of a difference. Um, I got the feeling it's more likely uh, a software difference. They just probably added in there and nothing much. So if you're a fan of the Under, Under Armour, or if you want that extra extra application software inside the active watch so this might be the watch that you want to consider checking out but let's turn this on and see what kind of presentation we get on the boot up i got the feeling this might be a standard Active Watch 2, not the Under Armour. Maybe they forgot to. Oh, so it is. It is the Under Armour. So there you go. And let's get started. So the same method of getting it started. Let's just turn this on. Okay. Add now. As you can see, it just pairs up automatically once you start up your active watch. Connect. Tap to connect. All right, so it's just gonna go through the setting process just asking me which watch I am going to be using and it doesn't show any specific version of the Under Armour so we're just gonna pick 
that. Active Watch 2. Connect to Galaxy. Yes. All right. So it's just going to pair up. And looking at the watch band here, it is a silicone slash, slash rubber texture feel. And it's pretty much the same as what you would get on your standard watch band but in gray or what's color is that light gray color so there's really not much of a difference when it comes to appearance build quality it is pretty much identical guys and on the back here i'm just looking for any name or tra trademark from Under Armour since this is a watch dedicated to it I don't see anything whatsoever so check your setup all right so let's check your setup if we are almost complete here all right so it is completely done we'll press agree agree to all next skip for now next and let's just do the instruction here all the follow-up and so forth let's put that on the side for now so all you have to do is just pretty much follow what the watch is telling you what to do and we should be done anytime soon all right so there you go we are done and there is your let me just fix the display brightness here and we'll put the on screen on screen display and there you have it guys there is your watch face, your Under Armour watch face. It looks really, really nice. Okay. And of course you do have, have it on your phone as well. And let's try to see what kind of watch face it comes with, or if there's any extra that it's been preloaded since it is a different version as you can see it's pretty much the same guys there's no difference or added watch face so you just got one watch face and that's pretty much it and let's try to scroll around here and see what kind of new apps that is preloaded okay so let's see so of course you have the Under Armour app like what I said earlier and you pretty much have your standard apps and so forth I'm not too sure about the Under Armour app how it works from what I heard um, there you do get a free free trial for a couple of months and then after that you do have to pay monthly fee to continue activating it so just a little heads up um, that's what I heard from other folks out there but I could be wrong um, let's see what else do we have here so that's pretty much it the only difference guys and of course your watch band here so let's put this on my wrist and see what it looks like so to be honest guys for the price you are paying, you are pretty much paying for the same category with the stainless steel, silver or black. It is the same category of the price that you will be paying. Um, whereas this one is aluminum um, quality and comparing it to a stainless steel and you're paying the same price. So just think about it, let that sink in and um, like again if you are a fan of Ar under armor this watch is the one for you 
but if you're not if you are just there to purchase for the best value um, i consider you to grab just the original active watch 2 or if you want to pay a little bit more go for the stainless steel um, to be honest guys it's just not worth to pay that extra money for an application that you might not consider using but as you can see i love the watch face on this and the only problem is you only have one choice from the under armor i wish they added a little bit more since we are paying extra more for this watch and there's really not much of a difference that is the reason why i didn't <laughs> go ahead and purchase myself luckily samsung sent out a review unit for me to check out first and let's try to measure and see if there's actually a weight difference between all three of the watches the other watches might be a little bit slightly a little bit on the heavy side because i do i did add a screen protector on those other two watches but it shouldn't make a huge difference since it is a um just a film type uh screen protector and an, and a tempered version of screen protector so we're gonna check them out and see if there's actual weight difference we already know that the stainless steel watch is a little bit heavier than your aluminum but we're gonna find out right now and see the difference between all three all right so there you go stainless steel 37 grams the original active watch 2 aluminum 27 grams 26 so there's already 10 grams difference and of course your under armor active watch 2 so 26 grams so it should be 27 because of the film protective uh, screen protector so there you have it guys that is the quick unboxing and setup of the under armor active watch 2 and my first impression is that it looks great um i love the the watch face of the un under armor um but again to pay that extra dollar it is just not worth it guys so there you have it i'm just going to show you guys what it looks like here side by side and you guys be the judge if it's uh something that you guys might consider purchasing but other than that there they are so once again guys thank you for watching my video until then i'll see you guys on the next one peace mm -hmm.